नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल साईगांवकर द एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू फार्मिंग बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉर्मल फार्मिंग और नॉर्मल एग्रीकल्चरल कल्टिवेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेशल फार्मिंग मेथड वेर वी डू नॉट यूज एनी सॉइल यू हर्ड मी राइट आर डिस्कशन इज अबाउट सॉइललेस कल्टिवेशन और सॉइललेस फार्मिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाइड्रोपोनिक्स Why are we talking about this? Because recently the government has announced in the parliament that India is looking for more and more adoption of hydroponic farming. Under the domain of hydroponic farming, we are going to discuss about one of the special methods which Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru, has been experimenting and researching called as cocoponics. Let's begin our discussion with a question, a typical means question. explain the method of hydroponic cultivation we'll understand this first part examine if soilless cultivation methods can ensure food security for the for the increasing population in india to attempt this particular question you will get very good fodder or very good content in this video lecture to get to know all that information be with me till the very end all right let's begin but before that this year's biggest sale is running on study iq आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव डिस्काउंट इज रनिंग विच विल बी अवेलेबल टिल इंडिपेंडेंस डे दैट इज फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट यू विल गेट हैवी डिस्काउंट ऑन ऑल द कोर्सेस आर फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम पी टू आई प्रोलिम्स टू इंटरव्यू वेर वी विल बी हैंड होल्डिंग यू थ्रू ऑल द स्टेजेस ऑफ यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन यू विल गेट बिग डिस्काउंट ऑन दैट द फाइनल प्राइज ऑफ योर कोर्स वुड बी ट्वेंटी सिक्स नाइन 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 इफ यूज माई कोड राहुल लाइव विद इन द पीरियड ऑफ इलेवंथ ऑगस्ट टू फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट वी ऑल्सो हैव डिस्काउंट रनिंग ऑन the optionals these are the options that we are providing for your preparation whatever option you select if you use my code rahul live you will get the complete course for 12999 it includes the test series as well and the biggest thing is that you don't need to shift anywhere the classes would be live the lectures would be delivered live that means you can prepare from your home there is no need to relocate to any other place so take benefit of this biggest sale before 15th august I'll see you in the class. Right. Let's begin our discussion. As I told you, our main interaction is about cultivation, farming, and we are going to understand about a special kind of farming technique. But to understand that, we need to know how exactly a plant grows. Right. The plant it produces food. They are autotrophs. They produce food through the process of photosynthesis. Now, what is this photosynthesis? There are some inputs that are needed to any plant. The input is sunlight. sunlight directly comes from the sun fine it also needs carbon dioxide which it can take from the atmosphere very nice but terrestrial plants that we have again when i say soilless farming it does not mean that we are cultivating aquatic plants no we are cultivating terrestrial plants in some sort of aquatic medium without any sort of soil right to understand this now any terrestrial plant it has roots correct and those roots are in the soil now the soil is responsible for providing two important constituents or two important inputs to this plant what are those one is water yes and mixed with this waters what are are the minerals that we need now you must have seen that farmers apply urea dap many kind of fertilizers now why because those minerals are needed for this plant they need nitrogen they need phosphorus they need potassium they need other macro and micro elements for photosynthesis and the output of that is of course oxygen and the food that is glucose this is the process of photosynthesis for a normal terrestrial plant now what do we do now we take out this pointer of soil then it becomes the concept of hydroponics now hydroponics it is also known by many other names like aquaculture or aquaponics also it is also called nutriculture and it is also known as soilless cultivation or soilless culture meaning i do not need soil now instead of soil what do i use i use water of course water which is which is a uh, mixed or which is filled with nutrients and if i need mechanical support you do understand that the job of the roots of any plant is to provide water and minerals but it also helps in stability now if i need any sort of mechanical support i may use some other inert medium like say sand gravel perlite or cocopeat so hydroponics basically means soilless cultivation where the plants are grown with their roots immersed in a solution which has water and fertilizer 
that's the basic idea of hydroponics now th it is this is this is a kind of setup of hydroponic cultivation you have some mechanical support right you have some bio and pads to support the plants and these plants the roots are directly in the water itself and this water has nutrients whatever necessary nutrients are needed and please remember these nutrients mixed in the water they depend on particular kind of plant that i am cultivating or particular kind of crop that i am cultivating it's, it's not like I use same kind of nutrient medium, water nutrient medium for all the plants. It differs for different kinds of crops depending on its requirements. All right. So I provide water and nutrients here itself, which would be continuously mixed through a circulating pump. I would be providing air also through this. All right. That is the basic idea of hydroponics. Now you must be thinking, sir, this is great. This is ex excellent. Is it a recent technology? The answer would be no, because hydroponics has evidence right from ancient times. According to Hellenic culture, one of the earliest beginnings or one of the earliest examples of hydroponics can be explained through the hanging gardens of the Babylon from 6th century, where the water directly from the river Euphrates, which was used for irrigation purposes. And you must have seen the hanging garden, the, the trees grow upside down, right? So water is provided to the roots and they would be growing down. You must have seen the pictures of that. Another example is from 10th century, which is the cultivation by Aztecs. Aztecs, predominantly in central Mexican region, they cultivated floating gardens directly in the lakes, something like this. Again, this is an old painting. Again, cultivation directly on lake. It is also suggested that Chinese also used hydroponic methods, especially if the soils are devoid of any sort of fertility. They used soilless cultivation of rice way back in 13th century but if you look at hydroponics and its history in modern times the term hydroponics was first used in 20th century by William F Garrick of University of California who researched on soilless cultivation he conducted many experiments on plant nutrition through water medium itself now since that time a lot of research is going on and various different methods of hydroponic cultivation or hydroponic farming have been developed in fact, in 1990s, NASA had also experimented for hydroponic cultivation in space, in space itself. Now, they thought that if we take, if we take seedlings into the space and if we do not carry any sort of soil, so can we cultivate these, these seedlings or these plants in soil? And they experimented successfully in space through one of the techniques called as aeroponics, which is a subset of hydroponics. And as I told you, since 20th century, there has been a lot of interest in this field of hydroponic cultivation. Different kinds of methods, different variations have been developed. For example, there are six kinds of hydroponic systems. First, first is deep water culture system. Now, in this deep water culture system, you have, you have some sort of mechanical support on which you have these seedlings or small plants and the roots are directly submerged in nutrient solution. And this water is very deep. You simply have some sort of air pump where the water would be continuously circulating and this water will have nutrients added to it. One is the deep water culture system. There is another variant that is wick system. Now in this wick system, you have some sort of mechanical support in any, many places. Thermocol can be used. On that thermocol, you simply keep these plants and their roots are, roots are connected with different wicks and by the capillary action, the water is taken or sucked into the plant the nutrients go into the plant another method of cultivation is the nft technique which is called as nutrient film technique in fact this system is used by the indian institute of horticultural research as well what do they do they do not keep a deep layer of water they simply have a thin film of thin film of uh, nutrient rich water which is continuously supplied to these plants through some sort of mechanical support some other variants have also been developed like the ebb and flow system. Now, in the ebb and flow system, there is a mechanical support on which you have, you have these seedlings planted, the roots of which are sometimes exposed to the nutrient rich water and sometimes they are simply left like that. Ebbing and flowing of waves, you must have seen, very similar to how waves come and waves go, the nutrient rich water is supplied and it is taken back as well. And its variant is called as aeroponic system. Now, this aeroponic system was also tested by NASA in space. Now, what do they do? They have 
planted these small seedlings and the roots of which they are sprayed they are they are basically hanging in air itself so time and again according to some particular schedule water is sprinkled nutrient rich water is sprinkled on these roots time and again according to a schedule that's called aeroponic method another method is the drip system which is very common drip by drip water 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 with rich in nutrients is provided to the roots of these plants all right now we are going to discuss about a sub variant of this which indian institute of horticultural research bengaluru has developed where a hydroponic technique itself used that means soil is not used but for mechanical support coco peat is used and that's why its name is dubbed as cocoponics so cocoponics is a subset of hydroponics of course we are going to use nutrient rich water as a medium soil is not used instead of soil for mechanical support coco peat is used now question is sir what is this coco peat you must have seen coconut you must have consumed coconut water as well so coconut has outer fibers right those fibers are generally wasted people burn it or they are also used in making mattresses etc but coco peat crushed in form of fiber or in form of coir it can be used as support for these plants the husk from the coconut which comes that is basically coco peat now which is used which is used in pots like these right and you put your you put your seedlings or saplings then you provide them with nutrient rich formulation and this formulation has also been developed by the iihr it is called as arcas as a poshak ras now it is some sort of a solution 3.5 ml of it is water is is added in 1 liter of water for cultivating lettuce here it's an example and this water nutrient rich water is continuously provided to these plants what happens it grows now you must be thinking sir there were already hydroponic systems why ihr has developed this we'll get the answer for that in some time but i hope it's clear cocoponics is a subset or another example of hydroponics where we do not use soil for mechanical support instead of soil we use coco peat and of course the the nutrition is provided by nutrient rich water which is supplied and this was announced in the parliament in fact a question was asked in the parliament regarding what are the new methods of cultivation that india is trying then the government answered that we have been working on adopting more and more of hydroponic farming and ihr has been pioneer in it indian institute of horticultural research it is in bengaluru hasargatta lake post bengaluru they have been demonstrating ideas about cocoponics they have published multiple research papers on cocoponics as well in fact it is said that ihr has trained more than 3000 urban dwellers coco peat producer and hydroponic startups where the training has been provided to them how to cultivate using this cocoponic method all right now the next question sir i understood hydroponics cocoponics i understood that but what are the advantages of that i find this a little complicated now the best way is like my way of farming right in my village i have land i simply prepare the land i sow the seeds but you do know that indian agricultural setup it is dependent on many other factors it is dependent on climate it is dependent on timely monsoon timely rains yes it is dependent on inputs because uh, there are a lot of diseases you have to apply herbicides pesticides right and uh, you you also have a lot of input cost initially then harvesting etc so agriculture based issues are there so how can this help how can hydroponic help me see first of all there is no requirement of soil and you do understand there is a problem of desertification there is a problem of soil degradation soil is losing fertility continuously moreover the land itself is becoming very very scarce and this can help especially in urban areas where vegetables can be cultivated using hydroponic method that means land shortage and land degradation would not be a problem why because even if i have a small chunk of land i can go for vertical cultivation as i told you as i showed you the example of hydroponic system now i can create i can create multiple hydroponic systems like these one above the other all right that's one of the advantages vertical farming can be can be carried out apart from that i do not rely on climate i don't worry about monsoon i don't worry about sunlight i don't worry about air because most of these things are controlled again this method by iihr bengaluru 
it can be done even outside but there are many other hydroponic methods which can be done even inside by controlling the light controlling the ph controlling the nutrients in the water so there is no reliance on climate there is no reliance on monsoon water efficiency is very very high because i can continuously recycle water whatever amount of water is needed by the plant it will take it it will take the nutrients and the excess water is left there itself which i can reuse for the next cultivation so water efficiency is very very high there is nutritious growth of course see if i am growing some sort of crop say say i need lettuce i or i need say palak right i need palak or i need i need methi spinach whatever it is so if i take that leafy vegetable i would want that to be nutritious because ultimately it is going to bring nutritional security in our country so this nutritious growth it is going to help eventually to our population yes then there is no threat from pests because everything is controlled there is no need of applying any pesticides or very limited pesticides there is no need of say any herbicides because there is no competition from other herbs because you're controlling the entire setup the yields would be very faster there is no concept of rabi cultivation or kharif cultivation or zaid cultivation i can go for multiple yields in one particular year so i can go for faster yields year round development year round harvesting it is also environmental friendly because everything is a controlled medium even if nutrients are in excess whatever amount the plant is going to use it is going to use it and the excess water rich or nutrient rich water would be recycled or reused again and again so there are many benefits and the biggest benefit i would say is because of the scarcity of scarcity of land in urban areas say if i want to cultivate or or grow my own vegetables this is one of the best methods i can simply go for some sort of terrace cultivation on my terrace i can create a hydroponic garden and i can grow my own vegetables great isn't it but everything is not so hunky dory there are some issues as well when i say disadvantages the first biggest disadvantage is the cost because the initial cost and the setup it it is going to it, it is going to need a lot of capital yes it is also a time consuming process it is also a technical process that requires a lot of training and expertise this is one area where ihr is playing a big role where i told you they have already trained 3000 urban dwellers and other startups which are engaged in hydroponics a very great job by ihr apart from that the electricity demand would be very high why because you need to maintain the nutrient rich water continuously moving or continuously flowing apart from that you also need some sort of mechanical support this is needed because see if if root if uh, if the plant or the roots were in the soil they would have stabilized on their own because i told you roots also help in stabilization of the plant so mechanical support has to be provided you have to give say if if i say i cultivate tomato using hydroponics tomato rate have skyrocketed so in study they are coming down but say if i want to if i want to cultivate tomato and i told you the yield would be very high faster yields and greater yields why because i don't need whatever input was needed before for the roots that means germination would be fast yes then the root requirement is lower that means the stem and leaves they are going to they are going to uh, process the photosynthesis faster so yield would be higher so imagine i try i'm trying to grow, grow tomato and one particular plant has say 20 tomatoes growing on it those roots are not going to support it i have to provide some sort of mechanical support so mechanical support prices would be there scalability is another issue scalability is a is a big issue yes see faster yields faster output is very high for instance if i go for vertical cultivation it is said that the yield say in one acre of land whatever yield i get from normal cultivation i can make as much as eight times in comparison to the conventional method of farming why because i can go for vertical cultivation but again the problem is that scalability in in my normal cultivation methods i can cultivate hectares together of land but here in a smaller land i can go for vertical cultivation but if i want a bigger hydroponic setup all these things all all these costs would be magnified yes apart from that the question is can all crops be produced from this this is one of the biggest question can i grow all the crops 
right now there is a lot of experimentation going on specially on vegetables that to green leafy vegetables because they are lighter their yield would be lighter their harvesting would also be lighter for any other kind of food grains which we have to produce at a very high level to ensure food security in our country which has a population of more than 140 crore we need we need land based cultivation for sure so that is one of the questions question mark still can all crop be produced at mass level it's still work in progress apart from that many people or many experts do ask this question should i invest in hydroponics or should i invest in organic farming say if i am a farmer i have options one right now if i have a land then i can go for my own normal level of cultivation i can improve it through some sort of organic farming or should i go for investment in hydroponics that's a question mark right priorities have to be set clearly here but i hope that you have gotten a good idea about both the pros as well as the cons of this now the question sir you you told me that there are a lot of advantages to hydroponics i agree yes there are some challenges as well but you said the iihr has developed another method called cocoponics now what is the benefit of that see cocoponics basically eliminates i would say this high capital cost yes it eliminates time consuming a little bit but training and expertise it has been provided already by ihr it reduces the electricity demand it reduces the mechanical support demand and it is quite scalable as well if you look at their research paper they suggest that considering the cost of maintenance co initial cost and maintenance cost of hydroponics it can be reduced a lot by using the cocoponics method where the input input cost is lower because you do not need soil you are simply using coco peat now coco peat can provide stability to this it's very similar to pots but you give it you give this pot controlled amount of nutrient rich water continuously and then you get very good yield and this cocoponics can be one of the excellent solutions according to ihr especially for urban and peri urban areas where already land is a very costly commodity land is a scarce commodity and we can take care of our day to day requirements especially the vegetable requirements from this to sure so let's wait and watch how we are going to scale this more and more but right now we are trying to bring different kinds of farming methodologies in our countries one of that is hydroponics and in our under hydroponics cocoponics is it clear right that's the end of our discussion if there is any any news or any sort of input on this we'll have an interaction again on study iq but i hope that i have given you enough fodder enough content to attempt the initial question so can you examine now or can you give me both the sides of hydroponics i hope yes all right thank you for watching this and if you have liked this video you can always follow me on this particular handle at the rate rahul sai 222 thank you again jai